Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we are going to do some, uh... Uh, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go back over here, exit the home menu. We've done two of the challenges for today, kill the Scrake and, uh, damage with the M19, but we also have to do containment station on Hell on Earth. Let's give it a try. I'm not sure if we're going to win. Um, like I said... Uh, Hell on Earth isn't something that I'm super comfortable with on Gunslinger. I have some wins. I have pulled out some wins on it. Um, not in Containment Station yet. I haven't actually beaten contain Containment Station uh, at all for a very long time. The last one I had tried was the uh, the one is Sharpshooter, where we failed miserably. So, uh, you know, we've got uh, we got some some work ahead of us to make this one actually successful as a hell on earth win but uh, definitely is possible I am I am confident in uh, in being able to beat a hell on earth run just not necessarily any particular one you know like, will we beat this one? I don't know. Will we beat a Hell on Earth run this week? Yeah, definitely. Will it be on Containment Station? Maybe not. Like I said, I'm not too confident in this map, so. Uh, hey, where did you come from? I don't like you. I have actually been doing some control difficulty stuff as well. Uh, if you can believe that. Just a little bit. Not much. So I wanted to fight more big sets. I like taking down the big sets as Gunslinger. It's fun. Probably why I've gotten a lot better at taking down the big sets, because uh, I'm still not super consistent in my takedowns, but I am good enough to do it. Also got the Rhino, that's a really fun uh, weapon, but not necessarily a particularly viable weapon. It's just fun. It's uh, We will do a, maybe a run with it, but yeah, it's not super viable. It's not the kind of weapon that you want to be using on uh, on the Gunslinger. I'll take the M1911s over it, like, pretty much any day. Just because uh, the Rhino is a revolver, so it has a much longer reload time. You can kill more Zeds per shot with it because it, like, bounces around and stuff. But that's not really all that useful, given that, uh, like, Zeds don't often pack up enough for that to be useful. And you can just reload really quick anyway, so, like... Who cares, you know? I heard uh, something. It was a Scrake. Okay, Scrake is fine. We can kill a Scrake with the M1911s. Fairly easily, honestly. Okay, it was supposed to be fairly easily anyway, but... Um, it was not because I got a little bit tilted on it. That's okay, though. Sometimes you get a little bit tilted. You can't get upset about it every time it happens, right? You just gotta accept it. You know? Sometimes I get tilted. It isn't uh, nearly as hectic as I remember Hell on Earth being, and that's uh, really just because I am significantly better than I used to be, and possibly because we're playing on a bit of a, in general, better perk. Come on, we're going to need this ammunition, huh? Oh my god, it's... We have seven bullets. Go? 
not really enough to uh, to do this, unfortunately. Especially since I just whipped them all on that one guy there. Shoot him in the face! Come on. We have a, another Gorfiend coming up, which is a little bit of an annoying one to take out with the uh, M1911, I suppose. Or not the M1911, the, um, the 9mm. But it's fine. Hello? Uh, we're going to keep that, of course. Get our dual AFs and upgrade that. Go for full ammunition on that. And then uh, that's going to do it. That is our setup. It's a good setup gonna get back to over here because I kind of like this spot even though we are getting a little overwhelmed um, I think it's just a good spot to camp so we're gonna stick with it especially now that I have the, uh, the AF 2011s we can take out the uh, the big Zeds a lot easier this guy as well a little bit easier Just a little. Are you guys spawning here? Is that what's happening? Do you guys spawn from like the ceiling or something? Probably falling down from there, right? It's probably what's happening. Is they're coming down from that right there? That's okay. You can just spawn clots and uh, crawlers, I believe. So I just gotta keep an eye out for when I hear the. Uh, Spawns and then kill him. No big deal. I'm feeling pretty good about this run so far. We haven't gotten a proper flesh pound yet, though. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that goes, but... Uh, These guys do so much damage, though. That was a Scrake, I believe. Scrake, I don't mind. God. Just please stop. Yeah, here's yeah, this great right there. Don't think we have a flesh pound, so we should be fine. Oh my god, I hate these invisible stalkers so much. They are so deadly on hell and earth. Come on, just hit him in the face. That's another scrape coming through there, I guess. It's a bit slow, so. Scrape or a flesh pound. Either or, I suppose it could be. It's a Scrake. You gotta start a little bit farther back when you uh, start to kill them, because otherwise they do start rushing you. And once they're spinning around, it's a lot harder to track their heads. But if I do it properly, then that's what that's what it's like, you know? It's it's a pretty smooth takedown, I think. Hello? Feels so far away. Uh, this wave, I think we're going to be camping as well. I don't know how to get back to where we were uh, running this way. Should be just through here, maybe? Right over here, maybe? And then down here. Maybe. And then through. Oh. God. I can't. I can't worry about what's behind me right now. I got to get somewhere that I can start to actually focus on um, shooting stuff. And that was not a spot we could got very easily get. Just 
stop. I hate the invisible stalkers so much. There's another one, eh? Yeah, right there. Edars as well. Hate them. People really hate the track the trappers. I don't mind the trappers so much, honestly. It's really the um, the laser dudes and the uh, the laser dudes and the um, oh, oops, that's it. I thought that was an Edar for some reason. I don't know why I thought it was an Edar, but I did. That went to uh, okay. Not great, but it went okay. Why did I reload? Just why? Why did I why did I decide to do that? Is that two husks? Yeah. Two husks ain't no problem. Scrake. Also ain't no problem if I can just shoot better. So this one, uh, yeah, I'm still feeling pretty good about it, honestly. I don't see any reason why we would need to lose this one at this point. We're doing fine. There aren't too many enemies left. We should, be, we should be fine. We should be able to get to the boss at least. And then um, we'll see how the boss fight goes when that... I had the cursor right over his face. How is that not a headshot? See how the boss fight goes. I would love to be able to beat it because uh, that would be a really... Really? It's not a one-shot? I thought it would have been. It's okay. It'd be really, really nice to get another uh, Hell on Earth run finished as the Gunslinger. On camera, anyway. Especially another Hell on Earth um, daily, because we had to to fail the Tragic Kingdom one. I think it was Tragic Kingdom, right? Yeah, we had to fail that one a whole bunch of times, because uh, just couldn't manage to make it work. So if we could actually get this and uh, and win... I would feel really good about that. As for where we're going to be able to kill the Matriarch, I don't know. I kind of like this area. Kind of like this area. It's a good little area. <sighs> this is the boss we're going to lose to if we're going to lose. There we go. Oh my god. Get out of here. This is entirely too many EDARs. Oh, the damage I've put on this is stellar though. Come on. There you go. Where's your face? I want to see your face. Ah, oh, if I didn't miss that reload, I think we would have been able to get it. That was honestly not a bad Matriarch fight. Felt pretty good. Hell and Earth Containment Station done. 
I don't think we're going to be staying on Hell on Earth because uh, Suicidal still feels a little bit more comfortable to me, but that was a pretty good Hell on Earth run, all things considered. It was not bad. That's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you want to say anything, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.